Hello and welcome to the session. My name's Simon Seagraver and I'm the Principal Product Marketing Manager for Red Hat OpenShift Service Mesh. I'm excited to have this opportunity to connect with you all today and to take you through a brief journey on how Istio is at the center of Red Hat OpenShift Service Mesh offering, how we've been involved with the project and how our Istio-based Service Mesh fits into our OpenShift Kubernetes product offering. Red Hat has been developing OpenShift Service Mesh for four years now, almost as long as Istio has been around. We've been an early supporter of the Istio project and one of the largest contributors to the project, along with IBM and Google. Our commitment to Istio can be seen in how our OpenShift Service Mesh offering is built on top of Istio, bundling in the Kiali and Jaeger projects, but more on that in a while. With OpenShift Service Mesh, being a Red Hat offering, we are committed to being based on open source, which is very much the Red Hat way. But before I continue, I'd like to share with you a common trend that we're seeing with our customers around the adoption of a Service Mesh. As you've probably seen yourselves, with the increase in the adoption of microservice architectures, there's even more requirement than ever for businesses to have an efficient and trusted way to tame their expanding number of microservices. The most common motivation we see by our customers for adopting a service mesh is around security and the control of the network between applications. When you only have a handful of applications, this is a simple problem, but with thousands or even tens of thousands of services, they need to take a uniform approach to managing their application networks. With our customers, they usually take an MTLS encryption enforcement approach before moving to a fine-grained policy enforcement to implement a zero-trust network. Once they're more comfortable with managing traffic, they may use a service mesh to facilitate canary rollouts, blue-green deployments, traffic mirroring, or even A-B testing. Free metrics and tracing is a nice bonus to all of this. This is why the inclusion of an effective service mesh into our OpenShift hybrid platform was essential. So to add some context, I'll now take you on a short overview of our Kubernetes-based Red Hat OpenShift platform and describe how OpenShift Service Mesh, based on Istio, fits into it. Firstly, let me start by explaining how we build OpenShift. At Red Hat, we use an open source development model to deliver our enterprise products. Our secret source is in our ability to turn many open source projects into production ready, stable and secure enterprise products that we support over many years. When the upstream community declares a release ready, we typically find defects that we will fix in the corresponding downstream releases. We can do that because we've been contributing to Kubernetes and many other open source projects that OpenShift is based on since day one, with Red Hat being the largest enterprise developer of Kubernetes besides the project sponsor, which is Google. The guiding principles behind OpenShift can be categorized into a handful of key areas. Innovation is happening in open source communities, and Red Hat is the best positioned company to help contribute and grow those communities, as well as bring the value of that innovation to our customers. While customers have demands to run applications in many clouds, they also want to reduce the amount of operational complexity that comes from a multi-cloud strategy. With OpenShift, customers have a consistent, trusted development and operational experience across any combination of clouds, both public and private. With this foundation of a trusted enterprise Kubernetes platform, we add productive enhancements such as the inclusion of a service mesh and other operators to deliver a true open hybrid cloud infrastructure and application platform with all the components you need that are fully integrated to build, deploy, and manage containerized applications. In many ways, OpenShift is a smarter Kubernetes platform because we've streamlined the, streamlined the installation and upgrade experience. You can be up and running with a fully configured Kubernetes cluster in less than 15 minutes, providing you with everything you need from metering and monitoring at the cluster, cluster level right through to application and developer services. Based on Red Hat's Enterprise Linux Core OS, OpenShift scales with your needs from 10 containers right up to 10,000 and, and beyond, and can actually update the underlying operating system and scale at the node level, which is particularly useful because the entire cluster can scale up and scale down based on your application's needs. Finally, Kubernetes updates, security patches, component updates, and operators, such as Service Mesh, can be deployed all within a click of a mouse. OpenShift Service Mesh is one of the number of operators such as CI-CD pipelines and serverless that come bundled with all OpenShift subscriptions, meaning that you can have a peace of mind that these operators will run out of the box, are pre-validated to work with OpenShift and fully supported. 
For any of you that have tried spinning up your own Kubernetes platform along with operators such as Service Mesh will know that it's not always smooth sailing during the installation, configuration, and during subsequent updates. OpenShift helps remove this hassle for you. OpenShift Service Mesh, based on Istio, provides you with all the great features and functionality that you know and love. Though we also provide a number of enhancements on top, including a multi-tenant architecture, security and compliance enhancements, and out-of-the-box metrics and tracing stack. These enhancements, combined with a tight integration with the overall OpenShift Hybrid Cloud platform, provides a great experience for administrators, IT operations, and development teams alike, helping make them be more efficient and productive in their day-to-day -day tasks. Now let's take a quick look at some of these OpenShift Service Mesh enhancements. OpenShift Service Mesh supports multiple meshes deployed within the same cluster. These meshes are isolated by default, with each having its own control plane and administrator, which facilitates multi-tenant installations. Services may be shared between service meshes, either in the same cluster or across different clusters using Federation to import or export services. Federation can be used to facilitate a zero-trust or need-to-know multi-cluster service mesh topology. As with all Red Hat offerings, security is a first and foremost consideration. For OpenShift Service Mesh, we bundle the OpenSSL encryption library with Envoy. OpenSSL is maintained by the Red Hat Enterprise Linux team as a FIPS-validated cryptographic library. We also build in several enhancements to ensure that services can be administered without requiring elevated privileges, both for mesh administrators and for applications that are added to the mesh. Red Hat created Kiali as a free and open source Istio dashboard for the Istio community. To improve the Istio user experience and grow Istio adoption, Kiali provides a convenient and easy-to-use dashboard for visualizing your network traffic with a convenient graph that displays metrics and traces. Kiali also helps users troubleshoot both Istio control plane and data plane components, namely Envoy proxies. It also provides several wizards and configuration validations to assist when creating and editing Istio resources, such as destination rules and virtual services. This helps users catch errors in configuration before they're seen in Istio. So Kiali is part of the OpenShift service mesh, though like all things Red Hat, it's free and open source for all Istio community users to take advantage of. OpenShift Service Mesh includes metrics and tracing in a pre-configured setup with Grafana and Jaeger, which we're the largest contributor to. This allows users to have out-of-the-box metrics for viewing the performance of services within a mesh. Distributed tracing provides a per-request view of the system, making it easier to identify bottlenecks in the system or tracking issues on a per-user basis. As mentioned earlier, OpenShift Service Mesh, along with other operators, are easily installed, managed, and upgraded using the web-based and easy-to-use OpenShift Operator Hub within the OpenShift user interface. We also integrate with Threescale, Red Hat's API management. This allows Service Mesh users to apply business-level rules for securing, distributing, controlling, and monetizing your application's external APIs. Be on the lookout for even more API management features from Red Hat. We are now at the end of the session, and I want to share with you some useful ebooks and resources that you can download and read at your leisure. Just a sneak peek, we are working on a day two service mesh operations ebook that will be a nice reference guide to have on hand. Reach out to me directly, and I'll email you a copy when it's published, or keep an eye on our OpenShift Service Mesh webpage, whose URL can be seen on the screen. We're excited by the news that Istio has submitted its application to join the CNCF as an incubating project and enthusiastically look forward to the next chapter of the Istio project. So in conclusion, I hope you can tell Red Hat is firmly committed to the Istio project and its fantastic community. Thanks for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of IstioCon.